Today we're in the green pastures of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. This friendly Canadian city of 250,000 lovely people is called Paris of the Prairies for all of its incredible bridges. I've always wanted to visit Saskatoon's beautiful Bessborough Hotel here, not only to learn its history, but to also find out if the rumors are true. Is this Canada's most haunted hotel? The hotel is named after the 9th Earl of Bessborough and first opened on December 10, 1935. It's one of Canada's grand railway hotels built for the Canadian National Railway. It was designed in a chateau-esque style with inspiration from Bavarian castles. The hotel includes 225 guest rooms and suites. It has a fitness center, pool and a luxury spa. Lots of big event space for weddings, conferences, and parties. Alongside the Saskatchewan River, there's an incredible waterfront garden in the back. A great place to dine on the patio or enjoy an outdoor concert. As for those rumors that this old beauty is haunted, well, I've heard a few stories. Like the one of a bride falling down the stairs to her untimely demise a ghostly man in a dark suit and fedora, and the spirit of a screaming girl. I even heard there's some cracked marble where a bellhop fell from several stories. Pretty scary stuff. Alright, we're inside the lobby here and we're going to head upstairs to the foyer to meet someone special who can let us know whether or not the Bessborough Hotel is actually haunted. Stay tuned, friends. My name is Jason Clark and I'm the general manager of the Delta Besboro. Thanks, Jason. And uh, I've heard rumor of a, a story of a gentleman in a dark suit and a fedora. Is there any truth to that? Well, I actually hear that story quite often here, especially when coming up to Halloween. Um, the idea of the man in the fedora, the this, this story started to come around in the 1950s end of it. And really what it is, is on the convention level of the Besboro that people would see a shadowy figure in a dark gray suit that would have a fedora that would sort of dart from one end of the room to the other. And as quickly as you saw it, it was gone. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. All right, we're here at the beautiful Grand Staircase inside the best row. And Jason, I heard a story here, something about a, a young bride here or something. Any truth to this one? Well, we often hear the story of people saying that there was a bride who fell to her death as she was walking down the stairs with her feet tangled in her dress. And so she had succumbed to her injuries. Now that story is true, but it didn't actually happen at this hotel. The Banff, the Banff Springs Hotel in uh, Alberta is very, very famous because they do have a grand staircase like ours, and there was a bride who was walking down the stairs, her veil uh, caught fire on some of the candles that were in the stairwell itself, and she did fall to her death. So right story, but wrong hotel. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Story goes that while in the Battleford Room, caterers would be working and a small young girl would appear who appeared to be lost. Whenever you'd go to the girl to ask if she was okay or if she needed help, she would look at the individual, scream, and then disappear. This legend actually had uh, happened with a couple of different caterers, but I haven't heard of it since the 1960s. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. We're looking up into original staircase here at the best row and when I was coming down here I noticed a marble slab or some such it looks cracked here Jason what's the story on this one well there is a little bit of a story about this not sure about the authenticity but the way the story goes is that there was a bellman that was in the uh, stairway here late one evening with some guests and the bellman would, took a little bit of a tumble and fell face first and through to the granite below here and had died on impact here. The unusual thing is, is they're not sure how a bellman would have actually fallen in the stairwell here. Was he pushed? Did he fall? We're not sure. And we're not even sure if even the story is true. But we do actually have the marble slab to show that something did happen. Incredible. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. I tell you, this best row is the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen. And uh, Jason, how about another story here? Oh, sorry, can you just give me a second? I'm almost done on this call. Thanks. Oh, sorry, Jason. <laughs> I'm 
you look up outside here in the back of the hotel, way up, it's like a gargoyle or some such up there, Jason. It's a gargoyle. There used to actually be two gargoyles here at one point in time. However, when they renovated the back part of the hotel to add the restaurant, one of the gargoyles was removed. And the crazy thing is, is nobody knows where it went to. Uh, it's either buried in the backyard here, the gardens, or it could actually be at someone's house here in Saskatoon. Who knows? Now that is a real mystery. Well, this suite in through here, most people don't get to see. It's basically the best suite that we happen to have in the hotel. Uh, any visiting dignitaries or any royalty that came in through and stayed in Saskatoon has stayed in this room here. A number of famous musicians and other different celebrities. And basically, the room itself end of it here, you happen to have a behind me here, a butler's pantry. Uh, you happen to have in through here a dining room. There's a living room. Uh, there's also a very large bedroom with closets big enough for trunks. And something a little bit unique. There's actually a porcelain tub in that bathroom end of it here. And the reason why they chose porcelain was that it heated up really quick. I guess the people that were well-to-do definitely needed to have their hot bath as quickly as they could. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Hey, Jason, what's it? Looks like a mail shoot or something here. 1931 email. <laughs> no, basically what this is, and you saw this in a lot of the rail hotels, as guests were staying in these hotels, they'd fill out a postcard. They drop it in through here, and this has a column that goes all the way down through to the lobby, and there's a very decorative brass mailbox down there that still to this day gets picked up every day. So daily mail service. So if I were to drop a letter down there, it would get picked up? You betcha. Incredible. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Thanks for indulging us in a couple of our little ghost stories in through here at the Bez. The reality is, is the Bez always has this aura of being a haunted hotel and whatnot, and I gotta tell you, it's anything but. When I first came to Saskatoon, I lived in the hotel for a couple of months, and I spent a lot of time walking in the hallways here late at night. The building has a very warm and welcoming soul end of it here, and I hope that it's welcoming enough that you want to come and visit us someday. So once again, thank you very much for coming and, and uh, sharing in some of our stories about the Bez Borough. Thank you very much, Jason. Did you hear something? Nah, it's the plumbing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about you friends, but I feel safe now knowing that the beautiful Bessboro here in Saskatoon is not haunted at all. And I'm going to head into my room for the night for a peaceful sleep. If you'd like to visit this great hotel too, please check out the details section below for contact info. Thank you for watching this little taste of old Saskatoon as she once was. Please tap that good subscribe button one time. Special thanks to Jason Clark for his incredible hospitality. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other. No, no ghosts in here. If there were any ghosts, I'd be able to hear spooky footsteps creeping up behind me. So I'm not... Did you hear something? <laughs>